So on this week's Cannabis Breaking Dank News Network, mm-hmm. I don't know if that worked, we'll try. Cannabis Breaking <laughs> News Dank Network, yeah. Uh, SA's Dacha Loopholes. So this was a story in business tech, but it's sort of been brewing around for a while, this kind of vibe. And they say, uh, the, legal, the legal loopholes some South Africans are using to get around the new weed judgment. In September 2018, the Concord confirmed that the use of cannabis in private and ca- cultivating cannabis in a private place uh, is no longer a criminal offence. Uh, it then goes on, however, the court did not decriminalise dealing or trading. According to Andrew McPherson, an associate of law firm uh, Cliff Decker Hofmeyer, this ruling has resulted in grow clubs which exploit the decriminalisation of their personal use and cultivation of cannabis in private. The loophole. The Grow Club model sees that club members rent a space in a warehouse where a professional cannabis farmer will grow a club member's personal stash. The theory is that the rented space at the Grow Club is the private space of the member. Mm -hmm. The membership fee includes the rent and also the professional cultivation service required (coughs) to grow and harvest the plants. The theory is that there is also no buying or selling of cannabis in the process and that none of the parties involved are doing anything unlawful. Mm. So some of them, they go on to speak about their subscription fees of X, Y, and Z and blah, blah, blah. But they're saying that, what they're saying in my mind is they're saying, <coughs> they're saying Joe, they're yeah. saying Joe, I've got, you've got, a, you've got a room there at yeah, your place. Skill. Can I rent that room? Yeah. And you grow all that weed for me, yeah. but you charge me a cutload of rent to give me that yeah, weed Because I'm charging you for the rent and I'm charging you for my growing services. Time, yeah. yeah, but not for the weed. No, not for it's your weed. I'm growing it for you. Okay, it's my cool. time, my effort, my knowledge. Okay. My floor space. That's how I understand it. Yeah. Um, is Paul Michael from Schindler's actually quoted in that? Is that one with him in it? Because no. there is, there, there is one around thing. where Schindler's actually say this is kind of a pretty good loophole. And if it's done with diligence, and we keep going back to this um, whole thing about being um, legit in the way you do things and not try and be a skeleton and being above board, yeah. principle non-compliance, mm. then you could argue it away in a court of law. I think it's a really <coughs> cool idea. It's like an allotment system in England. You rent a piece of ground off the municipality to grow veggies. But you grow the veggies. You really like that's right. That's like, that's the thing. <laughs> Who provides the, the seeds? <coughs> well, the seeds, you would imagine, you, I would imagine that somebody would want me to grow something specific. Yeah. So you, the, you the, the punter provides seeds the seeds, cannabis. I would imagine. But or that's cloak, cuck for a grower, because you're going to say, come yeah. grow these hermaphrodite swazi pips for me. No, you're How, I, yeah, right. do you, I don't think you get a say. I think it's, take my money, and hopefully in six <coughs> months I get some scape. I'll Is grow, that how it works? I'll grow you some decent weed. But in six months' time. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could I uh, try try grow some decent weed because you don't know what it is. You're gonna have to work with it. Like how long do you have to work with the strain? You've got to learn that strain. You've got to find Yeah, you can't just give them a bag of anything. I mean, yeah, so you're never gonna get so you could say to the person, Okay, cool, I'll grow yeah. your seed, but like I can't guarantee you anything, but I'm still gonna spend the same time growing it. I'm sure they would have some kind of um There must be a criteria. They've gotta be criteria. They can't just put anything down that No. Some bag seed stuff that's six out of six. It wouldn't miles. be in the client. It wouldn't they be. In, it wouldn't be in, in your favour to do that. Would they you? They probably have a nursery that you can choose from. Maybe they say we have OG Kush. And Maybe they yeah. sell clones yeah. where they say you can choose from our bank because it would be a risk to bring yeah. mm. anything a, into their mm. their, their, their room. I mean, from seed, it's fine because it's not going to carry in not anything can. else. I mean, it could, can. it could, but, but it's very, very. But then they can sell the seeds the as well. You have anyway. yeah. You don't yeah. want to like to be a free fall. But say, also, you yeah, what you want. and you've got conditions for that plant. You can't exactly. grow you one can't plant. Grow you can't You've got to grow a field because yeah. it's <laughs> the same conditions for that whole field. If you're trying to create a field in one plant, they're doing this all indoors. Like who's, the, who's the person that's all using? Indoor. Who is the person that is using the service? Why? Why would somebody use that service? Well, Someone that lives it, in an apartment in, a, in the cool, fifth yeah. floor. So, Someone that lives with their parents or there's children at home and they don't want to do it at home with their kids. With the kids? Come yeah. on, did um, you make that beer, Jules? Somebody can't grow. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, we don't it's make our own shot. beer. We yeah. don't make our own seeds. Exactly. Who's got the time to grow their own fucking zool? Who changed their story. own butter? Just yeah. Check, yeah. No, yeah. So, uh, a parental thing, a... Uh, townhouse complex we get space loads. limitations yes if we get loads of townhouse life, complex shit at life. the moment people turn away into it it's time they want a medicine provider that it's you know if but someone can do it, it better up. exactly but now this you all have medicine but they could just go and be see if they could just go and buy it would be a lot easier yeah, if you could, easier. but if 
Yeah. Well, now this is a loophole in the law thing to keep it no, legit I know. I in, know. The, in this transition zone. How many lots One can you own at a time? One day they will just go to the local. How many down. lots can you own at a time? How many teams can you fit in a room? No, well, I mean, if you I'll go, if I go to this company and say I want to buy Rate ten. Five. Ten because bucks. I want to grow ten. ten. What you want to give them ten subscriptions? No, ten parts <coughs> or ten allotments. Ten allotments. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just give them your money and you get the mm -hmm. weed. So they don't really care what. <laughs> no, how you much get a couple weed. of options. <coughs> I think, no, I think it's you, you and your tent. Your, your once your plant is ready to harvest, you get your weed yeah. apparently. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, I'm going to start. I'm going to go and buy ten of them and give them those seeds. I'm going to populate one of those lots every second week. So that I can get a continuous supply of cannabis. Yeah. Darcy grows. Will the popo believe you when they knock on the door? Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 the oh no no no! Exactly. This is not mine. It's not it's mine. It's not mine. I promise you, it's not mine. No, you say that's what you got the paperwork and the contract. But that's okay, what well, you're saying now, Joe. So this square meterage belongs to this person, and this square and meterage belongs to that person. And it's so it's like a square fucking meter. Right. So um. The way to do it is easy, Sean Alexander. You work with Trophy or Green Smoke Room, and when you sign up via our website, you automatically need to choose buy from a handful of pre-selected seeds sold to the vendor. Thank me later. <laughs> so there is a, there's a required there's a genetic bank that you you could go to to narrow it down a bit, and that's a very good idea. That is. Yeah. But then, you're not, then you're not going to be growing a square meter. You're going to be growing that strain in mass production. Um, no, you would be growing as that big strain as on that couple of square meters. But then you get it has into to the be realms lots of, of that every single lot would have to be marked out and state this is that person. That's right. Because if you put but 50 you could plants in a row, that. you go around and you could QR plant, scan yeah. the whole fucking thing. Each plant thing could have its dunk. own. Yeah. There it is. There's so many good comments I've got to bring up. Yeah, the one yeah, that uh, asks tag, about yeah. the poll first and foremost, he says, "Is this question about just my smoking habit or my growing habits <laughs> <laughs> and my seed habits?" Because I know sometimes compulsively spend on related yeah. stuff. But let's talk just about your smoking and dab habits. Um, Al says, "So why not just legalize and put it in stores? Uh -huh. You can actually get tax revenue as opposed to uh, getting grey market." Yeah. We're, at, we're with you all the way, but we've got this transition zone where we're still no. trying to get it grown and get it to people without falling foul of the law, basically. We're trying to deal with the hand we've been dealt. Yeah, that's yeah, right. We're working with the hand we've been dealt by Mr. As anybody would. Judge Zondo and the crew. Yeah. And it's like say, totally cool. unique in, this, in, sure. in the world mm. that we can have this conversation about having sure. growing. You can't do it in the States. It's positive. You can't do it in yeah, Europe. Good. So it's a cool thing. Sure. Yeah. But it has, as, as uh, Warren says, loopholes for days. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tip. Yeah. I've got a lot of thoughts about this. So first thought, like you guys say, what happens if the cops rock up? So you'll say... I've got all these registered members. I would feel that you would have some obligation to disclose this to the cops. Yes. Or not. All these people. No, I think you would have to, wouldn't have you? To. So wouldn't, yeah, no, you can't just say I've got this list and it's people's names in crayon. No. Yeah, yeah, but if you've got, got, like, you got a doctor, you're not, they're not going to give them their patients details. But you're not a doctor. Yeah, but you... And you're growing tons of weed or kilograms of weed. It's not a simple it's discussion. It's always going to be a register somewhere or something. It's got to be a register. Yeah, it's going to be it. sized. To if prove you, that it's not if, yours. If you are now a member of a I private they club, they have to prove it's not theirs. There's, <coughs> there's your range and bearing. Yeah. You give your ID to that club. You take so now, you you signing yourself away to say, right. look, I'm taking the risk. If they rock up at your place and bust you, they know where that's. I don't However, really down the rabbit hole of high court law. Mm. If you're the person that's received the goods in a private club, you've received them, you're not the dealer. So you haven't dealt anything. Yes. Mm. If you really want to get the nitty-gritty of the cerebralness of it, that's how it is. It's only the person offering the service that actually would be the dealer, mm. per se. But I reckon this is a really cool loophole. Are we with run with so, this? Yeah. It's not a new idea, but it's now physically happening. Can stand on some ground, yeah? Yeah, no, let's see. And there's a yeah. pilot project, and... Um, We'll stay in close contact sure. with all of Let's this. Let's see what Alex wants to put their cock Fuck, on the Those back. growers better have their shit together. Yeah. Yeah. The worst that can happen growers. is the feds are going to rock up and mm. go, okay, guys, what's in it for me before I trash your plants? And if you can afford sure. that for the next year, because in the next year, hopefully you won't have to do this shit. What if there's insurance on it? What if you fuck up the dude's well, growth? We just got asked that I'm question this week. I give you my seeds and, I, and I've, I've given you or chosen this yeah. strain and I've now given you the money and I'm now expecting this to happen. Yeah. And, and then powdery mildew sets in through the whole facility. Uh, and, then, and then what? 
I got I got so many so before we we got again cry start again but someone needs medicine so you can't just you get an SMS you can just get an SMS you get an SMS saying sorry your order has been postponed by six months yeah like I've got a and I'm like literally dying you've got you've got an excellent point before we get onto that the 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 chat is lit yeah Sean says a lot of good stuff about green smoke room and trophy seeds go check out what he said in the comments there Oaks Quivis brought up a very good point he says he got some lacquer beans or biltong and butts and he grew a three kilogram plant sure. we all know Quibus he's been here before yeah. mm -hmm. go check way back for good mm -hmm. episodes with this oak three kilos. and he says he now explained to the police there in his hood now that this is what he has to do and this is how he has to use it so this guy is very good at integration like this mm -hmm. yes, so it seems like whatever you do regarding a club at one point or another there's going to be this contact with the boys in blue. Mm -hmm. And you awkwardly look each other in the eye. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go do this on your terms like this dude has done? Mm. And well, just get it out your system? Go to them instead of waiting for them to come to you. Sure. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, Corbis is in the throes of a high core story now for yeah. this whole cooperative but even, uh, system. On the Canapac side, they also say go to the police and say you are opening this Yes, place. right. Yeah. You yeah. have to get a piece of paper signed by the commission of your local it police station. Sense. It makes sense. It's it's don't open, it, yeah. But again, it's the transition zone. Same with opening the liquor store. You have to go, uh, they see, oh yes, you can open a liquor store at that centre and all that. That's it. You right. Sell it out the booth, you know? And I think it keeps um, I think it keeps yeah. police <laughs> corruption <laughs> down as well. The fact that the the brigadier signed this off and it's on the wall because we have seen a picture of a a local dispensary that has got like four a fours on the wall of the fact that the cop signed this live and that is his signature. Sure. Cool. That means they speak about it in the uh, pre shift then, talks. Because they do get briefed on things happening right. for the day or whatever, so that's all you want. So now you can't if, get some rogue cop walking come, into... They might come drive past, just to check, but that's yeah. fine. Just so to give a freaking heart attack. Yeah. Or come and They'll collect some oil for the that's what they do. story. Yeah. So bef the before I pull up the blue light mock wipe, yeah? Uh, so yeah. our next story of the week, uh, Jules told us about. Uh, this is the story with this light. Tell us the story, I'm going to get grilled here with um, them. <laughs> Lou, where's the pole? Mary Lou's watching on, what's this, on, on, this is uh, YouTube, yeah? This refresh. is YouTube, it says awesome. where's the poll? Refresh, uh, refresh Mary, Lou. Lou. Mary Lou, refresh your page. Tapa refresh, top. Tapa, tapa refresh. Like when you move the mouse, a little eye will drop down. Click on the eye, that's the poll. Oh, I huh. didn't know that. Yeah. So, um, this week's news is this little victory on the way to sanity with, with a really well-known uh, top draw public school in Johannesburg. A uh, well-known school um, demerited uh, an 18-year-old matric student because he tested positive for weed, but he didn't have any impairment, and he's got grades of note, and he's actually, you know, a superstar, well-behaved person otherwise. And the parents got hold of it, and they went to Schindler's. And Schindler's, obviously, are the best argument of all now. And Paul Michael penned a letter to Crawford, which we ultimately saw, which um, kind of destroys the argument for any drug testing in a high school sure. at this level. It, because he's an adult. He's 18 mm. years old, this dude. So now he's got a constitutional right, which trumps the school's policy. And the beauty of the whole thing at the end was um, Schindler said, we'd love to come in and have a free consultation so we can show you how mm. to restructure your laws mm. around this cannabis judgment. Oh, Cook it. <laughs> so now they... Good work. And um, the, he was going to be tested in six weeks and his parents are completely um, with patient. him on this yeah. because he uses sure. it to calm his brain down because sure. he's cramming for matric. Sure. All, they all are. So pressure's on. That's yeah, so interesting that they're doing so, that, that. That's what. So the parents know, they see with their own eyes that if he scapes it, he can actually get in the zone and concentrate and not shit himself. Mm. So they it took. Calms you down, doesn't make you think. So now, in the last few days after help. all of this, when they took away the weed, the guy's now. <clears throat> and he's going into six weeks of the rest of his life, you know, the trick. Yeah. So they took it to the. Um, they took it to Schindler's. And Schindler's wrote the letter, and the body corporate, because it's like a franchise mm. college, this big thing, mm -hmm. they got back and said, well, you know, we don't want to damage the kids' story and this and that, and we do understand it's a transgression and blah, blah, and everything else, and okay. 
Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Bad. Sure. That's, uh, no, that's big. no, uh, nothing heavy. And they said, if you want to take it any further, we will fight it vigorously. But at, at, on face value like this, mm. uh, there's nothing yeah, they can yeah. actually do mm. except ruin a kid's life when it's it's he's not. A good kid. He's a good kid. And yeah. the trick was the parents who understood. Do you remember that? It, it, it reminded me of the woman with her son that was yeah, at, the the, at the rugby player yeah. that was yes. at the Durban show. And she hated weed and she, she hated the fact that he fucked it up yeah, with yeah. weed and you fucking asshole. And you were going places and now he lost his scholarship. He, he stayed in the team, yeah. but he lost yeah, the he scholarship. Lost so she's going to find 50k a month sure. of week, mm. whatever. And she was pissed with it. Sure. So she couldn't see the wood for the trees out of sort of anger for the whole thing. How old but is he? Same age, so 18. 18. 18. Yeah, yeah no, I'm a trick, uh, fucking frisk. On, there's no way this sure. guy's got a drug it's problem sure. of any kind, you know? Sure. No. That's yeah. just the medicine for him. It it's was his focus. Yeah. Instead, of, instead of Ritalin. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the little CBDNN news for this week. It's a blog post on the Fields of Green website. Uh, go and have a look, and you will see both the letters. Yes. Uh, the letter that, uh, from Schindler's and the reply. And uh, you've got to take your hat off to Schindler's. They know how to write a letter. Right? Mm. It's a really eloquent way of saying, just hold on mm, a goddamn sure. minute here. Mm. It kind of, <laughs> but it kind of like opens up more questions, because... Can the kid now consume at school? No, you say no. He's 18, school. Like, well, you know, there's a problem. Like you can't prove next. intoxication at school. They have sure. to prove that what they're doing with the drug mm. test is solving the problem of why they're doing the drug test yeah. in the first place. Mm. Is doing that as part of the result that they require from spending a fortune on drug testing, which it isn't. Sure. I think I mean, why drug test someone that's literally in the last year of their fucking schooling? Are you joking? Um, they've gone through the whole of schooling and now they're then if they're off passing and they are at a grade which they definitely, this guy is. You'll never yeah. get to the bottom of the story as to the motivation of the school and, yeah. or the timings or anything, yeah, but yeah. someone somewhere is coining it with these tests as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom line, you know? Yeah. It's cost you know a bloody fortune. You know what it is? He drives around to every school. Mm -hmm. And to the next school, and to the next school, and he goes around mm -hmm. every school in the country, and that's why it's around. You don't know when it's coming because it might take a bit longer to get round this time or the next time. <laughs> you know what the, the trick is? Time. There's always this new kid in school who rocks up just before, just before these these piss tests are coming. He can sell you some clean piss, and I think it's the Oaks Lighty. Yeah. <laughs> so my my final thoughts on this thing are that if this kid officially we know he can no longer drive a forklift at school. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and. Um, it also is, is, is part of the privileged few could afford to fight this realistically for 99% of South Africans. They're not going to have Schindler's on their side. They're going to get fucking six of the best or whatever. Uh, and life's going to be fucked up. This, li this, this life will go on. I you, you won't have PTSD for longer than a few months. Yeah. But for some people, this is the end of their lives. Yeah. Mm. So let's be real about That's that. Very serious. Mike, you're bringing up a very good point there quietly about these clubs. So, yeah, everyone wants to get into the club, but I think the big question... Buzz and Mike's top tip of the week. If you're going to buy to one of these private clubs, the question is, cool, I give you my money, but is this Woodstock now where you fuck off and you don't come back with my money, my scaife? Or do I get my scaife immediately or do I get it in six months? Because you're saying there's sick people. Six, sick people can't wait six months. Six yeah. months. So whatever you buy into, just understand. Do I, do I put in and start getting weed returned immediately or is it six months? Oh, I wait for the, here's the pips, I'll wait. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow.